let us study today how to convert rational numbers in p upon q form that means we want to convert this in a fraction form how to do that always the first step it is let x is equal to 0.6 children first we need to understand what does this mean 0.6 dot means 0.666 this dot indicate that 6 is repeated and it doesn't stop it it goes on and on okay now the next step is multiplying x either with 10 100 1000 and so on and that we decide by looking at the number of digits after the decimal point now in this case the number of digits after decimal point is only 6 only one digit has been repeated and therefore we are going to multiply here by 10 so number of digits after a decimal point is equal to number of zeros okay so right now if, when since there is only one the number after decimal point I'm going to multiply this by 10 so this will be 10 into x and this will be 10 into 0 0.6 okay now when I multiply 10 into x, I'll get 10x and this. When I multiply this by 10, this decimal point will shift by one place and now our answer will be 6.66 and so on. Okay, now 6.66. But since this is the 6 is continued here, it's of writing like this, I'll write down 6.6. No. Is that clear? So let us write down 6.6. .6. Now, the third step is subtracting. We are going to subtract x from 10x and similarly 0 0.6 from 6.6. .6. So, let us do that. 10x minus x is equal to 6.6 .6 minus 0 0.6 and therefore this is 9x is equal to 6.0. Yes, let us see what do we get by subtraction 6.6 from minus 0 0.6 so the 6 minus 6 will be 0 and 6 minus 0 will be 6 so our answer is 6 now the next step will be x is equal to 6 upon 9 so x is equal to 2 upon 3 so this is how we get our answer Now let us understand the next example. In the next example, we will write down let x is equal to 0 0.37 bar. This means that your 37 has been repeated. See 0 0.37 bar means that the 3737 is repeating and it doesn't stop here. It goes on and on. Okay, now I'm going to multiply this either by 10, 100, 1000 and so on. And that I decide by the number of digits after the decimal point. In this case, the number of digits after decimal point are 2. And therefore, I'm going to multiply it with 100. If I have 3 digits after decimal point, I'll multiply it by 1000. So, 100 into x is equal to 100 into 0 0.37 so we multiply both the sides with 100 now when i multiply this both the sides with 100 what will happen children this will become 100x and this since the number is this what will happen by multiplying the decimal point will shift by two places 1 and 2 and hence my number will become 37.37 and dot 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 which means that this can be also written as 37.37 bar because this dot indicates that 37 are repeating again and again. Hence, I write that here 37.37. Okay, now once I get this, the third step is by subtracting. So, when we are going to subtract 100x minus x, we subtract the left hand side, similarly, we subtract the right hand side. So, this is 37 minus 0 0.37 so let us subtract in the rough and see minus 0 0.37 so this gives you 0 0 37 minus 0 is 37 so this becomes 99x is equal to 
37. So x is equal to 37 upon 99. This is our answer. Now, the next example, 3.171. So, as always, we will write on our first step, let x is equal to 3.17. Okay, then. After doing this, the next step will be multiplication. And if I look at the number of digits after decimal point, it's 2. And therefore, I am going to multiply this with 100. So, here also 100 into 3.17. Okay, so 100 into x will give me 100x. What about this? Let me check. 3.17 means 3.1717 and so on. Am I correct, children? Yes. Now, I am going to multiply this with 100. So, 3.1717 into 100. So, this when I multiply this with 100, I have two zeros. So, this shifts by two places. And therefore, my answer will be 317. Decimal point will come here, 17. So, and this. But since we have dot here which represents that 17 has been repeated and therefore we have 317.17. So you get here 317.17. Okay. Now the third step will be multi uh, subtracting. So I subtract 100x minus x is equal to 317.17 bar minus 3.17. So when I do this, let me subtract 317.17 minus 3.17. So which gives me 0, 7 minus 3 will be 4, 1 and 3. So the answer will be 99x is equal to 314. And therefore x will be 314 upon 99. Let us look at the next example. So, I have written here, let x is equal to 2.514. Now, I am going to multiply it. So, since I have 3 digits after decimal point, 3 digits after decimal point, I am going to multiply this with 1000 as it has 3 zeros in it. So, 1000 into x is equal to 2.514 bar into 1000. Okay, so both the sides I am multiplying with 1000. Now, so, when I multiply this, I will get 1000 into x, which is 1000. And what about this? Let us check. 2.514 bar means 2.514, and so on. So, this 5 and 4 will be repeating. Yes or no? Now, the next step. Uh, we are going to multiply. Uh, sorry. Huh? We are going to multiply. So, now when I multiply 2.514, 514 into 1000. So, when I multiply this with 1000, it has 3 zeros. So, this will shift by 3 places. 1, 2 and 3. So, our decimal point will be 2514.514 and this will continue. This will continue. Okay. And since 514 is going to be repeated, I can also write down this as 514 bar. Okay? Now, the next part. I'll write it down here. 514 Now, subtraction. 1000x minus x is equal to. I'll subtract this left hand side. Also, I'll subtract the right hand side. So, 2514.514 minus 2. 514. So let me do that. 2514.514 bar minus 2.514. So this becomes 0. 0.4 minus 2 is 2 and 251. So our answer will be 999x is equal to 2512, which will be. 2512 upon 999. Nine, nine. Thank you.